This work is a transition from paintings to video works. I painted four big paintings and I had to go to the studio to paint them. I didn't want to be restricted to the places that I work. I thought, why not take the canvases into the outside world and see what the environment would do to them? The first filming began as an exploration. I carried the canvas out and didn't make plans for where to go or what to do. We filmed along the way. We ended up in a decaying industrial storage location and factory in Red Hook. I was stunned by this interior. It was like a palace for old used industrial gadgets to rest as sleeping beauties. It was otherworldly to me. I continued to let improvisation take the lead of this series of work. and I improvised actions with the canvas as an immediate response to the environment. Of course, it was not always successful. There were times I just wandered around on the streets with my canvas in Queens. I thought there would be breathtaking hidden corners awaiting my discovery, but there wasn't always. While making these videos, the time I spent carrying the canvas was a true labor. The weight became heavier and heavier. I felt akin to Sisyphus, the Greek king, redeeming the sins of my nature and suffering. In the end, I wanted to bring this level to an extreme. Almost as a sadhu, a holy man, I carried this act as a punishment. The last piece was to carry the canvas and walk back and forth until I fell. An ongoing project. I wanted to see the physical decay in myself and how my body will react in the decades to come. I walked for a few hours until I fell in my 20s. Maybe it'll be an hour in my 40s and eventually only a few seconds in my 80s. But reality is always different from expectations. When I was walking on the beach, I realized there would be no way for me to fall or lose balance until I passed out or died so I tripped myself up after two hours.